dance with me, darling. Just one more time before the night ends. Mrs. Graves! We... we would like some pie. Please. I'm just your secretary, not your errand girl. You really ought to drink more water. I'll get you some water. Oh, that woman's here? She says she has a case. Wonder where she keeps it in that dress. and something absolutely dreadful happened. Oh, really? Truly awful it was. I was at this gala having a grand old time with the mayor and his wife. The newspaper editor was there. The businessman, even a duke, maybe? Um, if you could please get to the point. Well, anyways, we were all there having a good time, and Mrs. Wells asked me if I had seen her husband. It turned out he died at the party. The police have ruled it an accident, but Mrs. Wells is inconsolable, and considering we've been friends for so long, I thought I'd hire you to investigate for me. We'll, we'll take the case. No, we won't. I'm, I'm sorry, Miss Fritz, but we have more pressing matters to attend to. Like what? <clears throat> like the cases, Willie, the cases we are working on right now. What cases? We haven't had a case in two weeks. Damn it, Willie. We'll take the case. Good. Enjoy the case. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> What a woman! And you two used to date? Get your coat, we have a case. Okay. Why don't you do your usual nonsense? I don't expect this to be any more than routine. She said this was an accident? Maybe it wasn't. Maybe he was pushed. Could be. Thoughts? Well, if she has reason to believe that it was not an accident, then perhaps she assumes it was foul play. Exactly. Foul play. So, we need to find evidence. The question is, why does she think it's foul play? What is she hiding? Uh, from a lady, she might say. Wow, they need new cleanup people. There's a wine glass over here. This glass has some red lipstick on it. You know, the, the police report said that the body had some red lipstick on the jacket. That's the ticket. 
We need to talk to the wife. The wife? The wife. It's almost always the wife. And plus, we're gonna have to talk to her anyway. And where were you that night, Mrs. Wells? I was at the gala. When the mayor throws a party, one simply must attend. To maintain one's image, you see. Was your husband acting strange at all that evening? Maybe he'd had one too many of the hooch? Well, John did enjoy whiskey. He never went overboard. Um, I didn't pay close attention to the number of drinks he was having. Other guests said that you looked upset. Why was that? <sighs> the lipstick I got was out of season and didn't match my dress at all. And on top of that, I found out my daughter isn't coming home for the holiday. And my husband might have been leaving me. Now, Mrs. Wells, you said your lipstick was the wrong color. What color was it? Why do you need to know? Well, uh, let's say my girl has a birthday coming up and I want to get her something nice. It was an awful magenta red. If you want to get her something nice, get something a little more neutral, like rose red or pink. Thank you, Mrs. Wells. We will be in contact. James, I, I, I didn't know you had a girl. When can I meet her? Does she have a friend? I, I don't have a girl. Then, then what was all that then? I wanted to know what lipstick she was wearing and guess what? She was wearing it. No, Willie. She was wearing a different color than the one on the glass. If there is a killer. I don't think she's it. This damn case doesn't make a lick of sense. What's the connection? So it's Rose now. Earlier it was Miss Fritz. Jesus, girl, get on with it. Always so fast and dirty. Don't you want to spend a little time with me? Then why would I do that? I can think of a couple reasons. Why don't you come back to my apartment and I'll show you. Enough, Rose. I'm working. I'm literally working the case you gave me. I don't have time. Well, I heard you found a new girl. Don't you make time for her? I don't need to make time for her. She doesn't exist. There is no girl. Well, I remembered something about the party the other night and I thought I ought to tell you. What is it? Mrs. Graves. Why have you brought me here today? Um, please have patience, ma'am. All will be explained in a moment. Please, take, take a seat. When your husband left that party that night, he was going to tell the other woman in his life that he was leaving her. Before he ever had the chance, he was pushed down the stairs. Then who pushed him? I want them thrown in jail. You see, Mrs. Wells wasn't wearing her normal lipstick that night. There was a mix-up in orders and she got the wrong color. The woman who killed John Wells wasn't prepared for this or didn't notice. What are you talking about, James? As I was trying to figure out who the woman could be, I noticed something else. It was you, Rose. Your story changed from Mrs. Wells asking you to the mayor asking you. And then you told me you were the one to find the body. So, why'd you do it, Rose? It was all for you. I still make me go to jail. I'm sorry, Miss Fritz. You are a criminal. And criminals go to jail. You can't do this, James. This Willie, was for us. Get the cuffs. You can't do this. Thank you so much, detectives. My check will be in the mail. Who do I make it out to? James Nelson and William Burns. Okay. 
case was easy as pie.